What's going on, print fam? It's your boy Cam. Welcome back to the print life. Roll the credits. Put the place up. Today's gonna be an interesting video. I had numerous requests from people inquiring about the uh, supplies that we use here at Monument Limited. So I figured it's a really easy video to shoot, so I would take the opportunity to showcase to you guys what we use. Our inks, um, fucking our chemicals. A lot of the times we switch chemicals out, testing new stuff, but I'm gonna show you what we're currently using. So, let's do it. Follow me, at away, at away. We're gonna start at our ink station with our cores or our base products. And we got two of them. We got a water-based core and we got a Plastisol core. So starting with Plastisol, we pretty much exclusively use Wilflex. Okay, we use the PC mixing system. And what that is is a series of bases. You got Flow Base, you got uh, the Top Score Base, you've got Suede Base, Performance. You got Performance Bases, you got, uh, you know, so many different things. A lot of bases. The neat thing about them is in, when you combine them with the PC high concentrate pigments, which we got right here, that you can then utilize this scale with the base to create pretty much anything. With these and this base here, we can make all these colors, more or less, more or less. Some of the neons and metallics and shit we obviously can't do, but you get the idea. So the way we handle our pigments is because they're such a concentrate and because you have to use such small amounts, um, we take them out of our containers here and we put them into these, uh, they're essentially condiment bottles. And we do that for our PC system. We also do that for the water-based system, but we'll get to that in a second. That's our Plastisol system. I'm trying to think if I miss something, you know, you know, so we may have a, a random color from Union, or we have some Excalibur stuff, but we have some graphic inks, but overall, it's Wilflex. That's what we committed to early on, so that's what we use. Most of these quartz up here were mixed using Wilflex Flow Base uh, in conjunction with this uh, high concentrate PC system and this book. Also, there is a software from Wilflex that allows, that gives you the ink formulas for those Panto numbers. And that's how we do it. That's how we get all these really beautiful colors on the wall. And you know, a lot of the times we only mix up what we need so we chuck it when we're done. When we also use Will Flex's Epic Series. Actually, I think that they've switched over now. Some of this stuff is still being cycled through, cycled out of, but uh, we also use their Super Bright Series, which is a high opacity inks that come in a variety of your standard colors, your blues, your greens, blah, 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 blah. All right, in regards to our white ink, we used to use the Union Bright Cotton White, but we have since switched over. I didn't even know this shit was out, but uh, Patty over at Multicraft told me that uh, Will Flex has released a new ink, which is called Amazing Bright White. And Jesse's been printing with it for a little while. Jesse, it prints way smoother than the old Bright Cotton White we were using, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Is it, is it similar to the same shit we were getting from ScreenPrinting.com, that little container of Lava White? It's very similar. To okay, that. we love it. But for the longest time, it was it was Union Bright Cotton White, mainly because of how easy that stuff was to print with. Uh, but Will Flex has since released a newer, easier flowing ink, and we're using that now. That covers our ink, right? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, I'm gonna say it does. Moving on to water-based inks. As you all know, I've been experimenting recently with CCI. We have a lot of experimenting to do, but I kind of have high hopes for them. But at the moment, we actually use inks from Matsui. And I like Matsui, so far so good. This is their Bright Discharge base. Uh, they also have just a, uh, a clear base, which is water-based ink for light-colored garments. But we find that we use the Discharge base most of all. So, if you don't know what Bright Discharge base is, this is a mixing system, very similar to the PC system for Wilflex, wherein you get a series of pigments. Again, these things come in quart containers like this. But because we gotta manipulate them so often and the mixing is, there's very minute amounts of pigment that you gotta put into the base, we put them in condiment bottles again. You can get these off of Amazon. Uh, 
so that mixing on the scale is super easy. And what you end up with is a series of colors. You can see them all. These are mainly water-based here, water-based. Uh, and then this over here is discharge. Obviously, if you mix in the discharge powder, uh, it only lasts for 24 hours, after which you have to rinse it out, throw it away, or save the containers. We try to save containers if it's convenient. If it's a pain in the ass, then we chuck them. But, you know, you... landfills, right? What I've actually been thinking about doing is finding some kind of stainless steel containers or something. Some way to stop chucking so much plastic into the goddamn garbage can. When you think about it, it's extremely irresponsible. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys remember Beavis and Butthead? So funny, dude. <laughs> uh, hey Beavis, mixing ink's stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Anyway. This base gives you a spectrum of colors. Now there is an issue with Pantone matching discharge and water-based inks. Uh, we just found that overall we tend to wing it based on percentages. So. We've act we actually started making like swatches based on our formulas to help us. E it's easier to match colors when you have your own formulas. Matsui doesn't, I will say, not to call them out or talk shit, but Matsui's mixing system, they have a software plugin as well. It's not very accurate. So we've just found that we use this. Let me show you what we use actually. Matsui does offer this, this interesting color card and it shows you what color you'll get based on percentages. So if you put 5% pigment, you'll get this darker red. If you only put 0.5%, then you'll get this really light pink, right? And so we actually utilize this thing to mix our colors as close as possible. And we just tell all of our clients that discharge and water-based, there is we don't do exact matching. We can't do Pantone matching. We can just get them the general color they want. Another really neat thing about Matsui is that they have the um the metallics and you can pretty much mix up whatever shade of metallic ink you want utilizing these pigments in the essentially the silver base and you can mix up all these different beautiful metallic colors it's pretty sweet my least favorite thing about matsui is that goddamn mixing software it sucks it's pretty it's it's 100 unreliable uh in conjunction with that for discharge white some time ago, I tried Matsui's Discharge, hated it. At that time, I couldn't really find any. My local suppliers didn't have any other Discharge inks. Uh, and between Matsui and Union, this was just easier to print. It's a little bit thinner. It doesn't dry as fast. And overall, we just had better luck with it. Yeah, overall, we just had better luck with the Union, so we got it, and we've been using it ever since. I actually really like it. Now, some of the formulations that we use is we, we, do, a look, we do Union ink, uh, but we actually mix in Matsui Retarder by weight. Uh, you can mix this between 1 and 5%. We usually go about 3%, sometimes 5 if we have a long run. But it, it truly does delay the, uh, the drying, uh, especially of the white ink. But we also use that uh, in, our bright, in our bright discharge as well. So we pretty much use this shit on everything. And then another white ink that we do use, and we actually been using it pretty often lately, is the Comet White from Ryanet. I don't know who actually makes it. It might be Matsui. Don't know, but we've been using it. A couple big time problems with it. The biggest one is that it dries faster than shit. So we still use the uh, Matsui Retarder in it. Seems to work okay. We've done, you know, I mean, we've tested it out. It seems to be okay, so we do use it usually about 3% maximum. Moving on. The emulsion that we use is, and I, I, I was corrected on this, Murakami. Maruk, Marukami, Marukami, I was always calling it, but I think it's Marukami Photo Cure Blue Emulsion. This is what we've been using for so long. Reason to like it is it's pre-sensitized, you don't have to add a diazo to it, and it's got a high solids content, so it creates a pretty thick stencil with fewer passes. That's the majority of the reason I use it. Some of the downfalls to this emulsion, actually the biggest downfall to this emulsion is shelf life. Uh, you know, we don't do 65 line per inch simulated process printing very often, so whether or not this holds those super fine dots, I'm not the guy to ask. Don't know. 
But for our jobs, for all the big spot solid solid jobs, mixing between plastisol and water base, this stuff covers it pretty well. Uh, and then to protect it and to prevent the uh, horrendous task of popping these goddamn lids off and on and all that shit, we actually dump it into this three gallon container here. Makes it a hell of a lot easier to store and save the emulsion after it's been opened out of this gallon container. Cause this shit's pain in the ass. All right, moving on to uh, our fucking reclaiming station chemicals and stuff like that. So we do use a dip tank. Need to upgrade this. Need to get bigger one. I've been using this thing for so long. I haven't really seen a point. But and then my boy Grizzly Wheeler was talking about a double dip tank solution, which is what I'm going to do. But for now, we use this dip tank. And in the dip tank, we use Easy Way Systems Supra. So Supra's pretty good. I can't remember. I think we just. We kind of underdo it. I think we just do a full gallon, just one gallon. I think you're supposed to do like two or something, but we just throw one in there and it works just fine for us. Um, anyway, yes, we use the Easy Way uh, Supra for the dip tank uh, in conjunction with, for a long time we were using 709, which is Easy Way's dehazer, degreaser, all in one. You use it after you bring it out of the dip tank you spray off all the uh, emulsion and shit like that, and then you would use the 701 to degrease and dehaze the screen, and then you set it in there to dry. But mainly, just out of curiosity, I've been experimenting with other stuff. We are trying the pink stuff provided by AST, uh, Tempe, Arizona. You guys can check them out. Um, also, another one of our local suppliers is Multicraft, also in Arizona. Both great suppliers, love them to death. Just to be fair, I bounce between the two of them. I go here for one, and then I go to the other one. Uh, try to keep it fair, because they're both so good to me. Um, and then we've also been trying the CCI Liquid Renew It, but I haven't been following up with Jesse, so I don't know which one he likes better. 701 always kind of really did the trick, but it's, it's a harsh chemical, so you pretty much need to wear a mask when you're using the 701. And the reason I like the pink stuff, or that I wanted to try it, is compared to spraying mist all over and then that mist flying back in your face and breathing it in carcinogens you know cancer causing I, this stuff you just dump it on the scrub pad and you go to work so i feel like there's not as much airborne chemical flowing into your lungs makes sense makes sense i feel like that covers the dip tank man if i miss something let me know in the comments okay uh, when it comes to exposure and the screens, uh, like I said, we use the Photo Cure Blue from Murakami. Uh, if we're doing a water-based job, as soon as we expose it on the washout booth, and we need it to last for a long time, we use the Chromaset Emulsion Hardener from Chromaline. I hope I'm in focus right now. This camera does a terrible job focusing, so if it's out of focus, um, yeah. For our liquid taping duties, we use NASDAR's B535 Liquid Tape Prime Coin, Prime, Prime Coat Cellar in conjunction with the, the C536 Prime Coat Curing Agent. You put this by, what did I finally figure out? 3% by weight. They don't have a percentage, they basically just tell you to dump one of these into this, but I needed a percentage because I didn't want to mix it up all at once because it only lasts like 8 hours I think. So you only want to mix up what you need. And what I found, 3% of this by weight works like a charm. Moving on, moving on, moving on. On to our aerosols. We pretty much don't use this shit anymore. We don't use spray adhesive. That's why it's just been sitting up on the shelves. However, we do use the, um, the webbing adhesive for fleece because we just can't get the water-based shit to work for fleece. So we do use web-based adhesive for that. We use this for our defibrillation screen right here, and it works well, but a Teflon sheet is really the ideal method for that. This is also kind of cool when you're doing wet on well, wet on wet. If you've reduced your inks decently and you got a good underbase, and you spray that on the bottom of the screens, you can keep your ink buildup. It helps you manage the ink buildup on the bottom of the screens better. So, uh, as far as our palette adhesive, we do use water-based adhesive. Uh, we use this shit, it's, uh, spray adhesive, but you can squeegee it on just like we do. This is Imitech, Image Technology Incorporated. Uh, this is, we get it from Multicraft, we also get it from AST, depending on whose turn it is. Not answering it, I gotta answer it. That was another phone call from another PrintFam member. Shit's getting crazy, guys. 
more and more calls from you. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, you need to stock up on condiment bottles, small and large, just stock up on them. You can get them on Amazon, but we just, and then use our cleanup cards. We buy these by the boxes. As far as our tape, I know some people were inquiring about tape. Now we get this, this shit, I've tried all the stuff, man. A couple of issues that I had with tape. It's expensive, especially the split tape and all that kind of crap. Now we're not using tape as much anymore because we've started liquid tape in our screens, but if you're still taping, which it's in a lot of situations, I actually advise that you do that, you can get this shit. Now this is IPG, Intertape Polymer Group, okay? That's not gonna help you as much as telling you who our supplier is. If you call our supplier and ask for the tape that Monument gets, they'll know. Problem is, oh by the way, these are the, uh, the cleanup cards that we also get from the same supplier we get the tape from. And the reason that we use that particular supplier is that they by far, hands down, give us the best pricing on tape when you order in bulk. So you gotta buy it by the boxes like this, which we do, and now it lasts us forever because we're not doing liquid tape very often. I'm gonna have to get the contact information for you and I will put it, I'll, I'll write it here and I'll also link it in the description of this video because I can't remember the name of the fucking company. But I'll definitely put it in there. Link to my tape and cleanup card supplier in the description. And it is, the tape is um, Intertape Polymer Group and I'll give you all the specifics of it. This one just on a whim, they gave us a great deal on it and it's like not super sticky but it's sticky enough. So it's really good. We also get our packing tape from them. And the reason that we get this stuff is because this sticks to water bait. When you have to tape off stuff for water-based printing, this shit has a much stronger adhesive and it holds up better to long run. So we use this shit for taping off stuff on water-based production runs. In the recirculation tank, we use, right now, yeah, we use the EnviroLine stuff, but it's the, I don't even know if we got any right now. We use the EnviroLine ink degrader. Um, it's, it's the ink solvent, recirculation solvent, whatever. It's from EnviroLine. Works like a charm. And because you leave this open air, it doesn't have that strong, disgusting solvent scent. So if you're gonna use a recirculation tank, EnviroLine's the way to go. In the description, because I can't remember the name of it either right now. But that's what we use in there. And one of the things is if you get any from anything that's not like soy or citrus based, as it recirculates, it permeates the shop brain cells just start disappearing. Next thing you know, you can't form a complete sentence. Other chemicals, other chemicals. Can't think of anything else. I feel like I covered the majority, right? CCI blackout, UV blocking uh, inkjet ink. You use this in your refillable print heads. Uh, you use AccuRip to define what print heads you're printing through and this gets the job done, man. It gets the job done well. I don't know what brand this is. We got this one from Multicraft, I think, and it's, it's always changing. On AST, they have their own brand of shit. But what it is is waterproof, 17 inch wide, I think 100 feet, waterproof film. What's up, brother? Jesse's here, waterproof film. This is what we use and it's roll feed, so you, know, you can define the length. Works good. How you doing, man? Paper towels. We use the uh, wipe all brand. You can get these on Amazon. You can have them, you can set up like recurring deliveries and all that kind of shit. This is X50 bottle. Not the most absorbent, but not the least absorbent. Super durable. I compare them to the blue towels. The shop towels you buy at Home Depot, they're blue. Very similar, half the price. This humongous roll I think is 39. Don't quote me on that. I'll link it in the description. Yeah, I covered the ink. I talked about our chemicals, I talked about our hardeners, emulsions, I got it, man. Fucking nailed it. Video fucking shot before noon. That's it, print fam. Hopefully, some of those chemicals and, I don't know, hopefully it helps you guys out in making a decision on what brand of chemicals or inks or whatever you're gonna go with. Super happy with Wilflex. I feel like Poly One is always kind of pushing and experimenting with new stuff. I know that they just released the Rio series, which I think is low cure. Uh, and now I know all their inks are phthalate free. So Wilflex is killing it. I love them. Uh, as far as water based, I loved Matsui. I hated their color matching system. But I am really excited to, to test, to get more involved with the D, whatever, the CCI discharge inks. 
moving forward with that. I'm, I'm excited about it. Other than that, thanks for watching, Print Fam. Hopefully, this shit was uh, educational and informative. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and of course, ding the bell so that you're notified on my next upload. Take care of yourselves, Print Fam. Oh, peace out.